Old man harassed by three bikers, they turned pale when they discovered his true identity. Serenity graced Samuel's 73rd year. Retirement suited him perfectly. His day was a smooth ride between truck driving and the blissful ritual of apple pie and coffee at his favorite diner. One sun-drenched afternoon, he occupied his usual corner booth, savoring the quietude. This peace, however, was short-lived. Before we embark on this captivating journey, we kindly invite you to show your support by engaging with our content. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a thoughtful comment stating, I've subscribed. Additionally, if you find this story as inspiring as we do, don't forget to share it with your loved ones. Your support means the world to us. Three figures, loud and menacing, swaggered in. Jake, Max, and Lance, notorious troublemakers who thrived on intimidation. Their eyes scanned the diner, finally settling on Samuel, the lone target. Jake, the ringleader, initiated the harassment, a smirk twisting his lips. He extinguished his cigarette right in Samuel's pie. Samuel's gaze flickered upwards, betraying a hint of steely resolve beneath his calm facade. Next came Max, his malicious grin announcing his contribution, a glob of spit landing in Samuel's coffee. Though stung by the insult, Samuel held his ground. Finally, Lance, with a flourish of cruelty, snatched Samuel's plate and sent it crashing to the floor. The three hooligans erupted in laughter, reveling in their destructive act. Samuel's rise was unhurried, his composure unbroken. He strode to the counter, settled his bill for the ruined meal, and expressed gratitude to Emily, the waitress who had witnessed the entire spectacle. Before exiting, he made a swift call on his old flip phone. With a final unwavering glance at the bikers, he disappeared out the diner doors. Emily, seething with rage over the bikers' actions, approached their table for their orders. Before a word could escape her lips, Jake sneered. Seems that old coot wasn't much of a challenge, was he? A glimpse out the window tugged at Emily's lips, forming a knowing smile. You thugs might want to reconsider, she countered, her voice laced with amusement. Just take a peek outside. The bikers whipped their heads towards the window, their faces draining of color. The sight that greeted them sent shivers down their spines. Dozens of bikers astride roaring motorcycles encircled the diner, their gazes fixed menacingly on the establishment. Leading the pack, perched atop the mangled remains of what were once their motorcycles, sat Samuel. Panic flickered between Jake, Max, and Lance in a silent exchange. Whispers of the legendary biker gang that once ruled the town echoed in their minds, a terrifying reality they never anticipated facing. A hulking figure, Rick, emerged from the pack. You fools have no clue who you just messed with, he growled, his voice heavy with menace. That's Samuel Iron Fist Johnson, the founder of this entire brotherhood. You think you can disrespect him and walk away clean? The bikers sat frozen, their tough guy act melting faster than ice on a hot grill. The weight of dozens of stairs pressed down on them, a heavy silence punctuated only by the rumble of idling motorcycles. Samuel, perched atop the twisted metal graveyard of their bikes, locked eyes with them through the diner window. With a curt gesture, he beckoned them outside. Trembling like leaves in a storm, Jake, Max, and Lance obeyed stepping out into the harsh sunlight. They were met by a wall of intimidating faces. Samuel rose, his weathered face etched with a steely resolve. His voice, though calm, carried the power of a thunderstorm. You messed up big today, boys, he said. Respect isn't something you take, it's something you earn, and you clearly haven't a clue about it. Shame pressed down on them their bravado replaced by a gnawing fear. They couldn't meet his gaze, the weight of their actions settling heavily. Samuel, though aged, stood tall, a testament to the strength that resided within him. Retirement doesn't mean I'm alone, he continued. My brothers are still here, and we look out for each other in this town. You're going to learn a real lesson about respecting your elders and your community. On cue, the surrounding bikers shifted closer, a silent but potent threat. 
No punches were thrown, but the message was clear. Jake, the bravest of the three, by a hair's breadth, stammered. We're sorry, sir. We didn't know. We'll fix what we messed up. We promise. Samuel silenced him with a raised hand. Fixing the diner is just the beginning, he said firmly. You'll spend a month giving back, cleaning parks, helping at shelters, showing everyone you can be better. That's the only way you'll understand what respect truly means. The bikers nodded frantically, anything to escape the situation with their hides intact. Samuel's men parted, creating a path out. But as they scurried away, they knew they weren't leaving the watchful eyes of the Brotherhood behind. This wasn't just a lesson. It was a chance. A chance to prove they were worthy of a little respect themselves. The following month became a whirlwind of activity for Jake, Max, and Lance. Graffiti vanished under their scrubbing. Parks glistened with newfound cleanliness, and shelters received a surge of unexpected volunteer muscle. The townspeople, initially wary, gradually softened. A hesitant smile here, a nod of acknowledgement there, signs that their efforts were being noticed. Samuel, ever watchful, kept a low profile, but missed nothing. He saw the sweat, the dedication, and a glimmer of something genuine in their eyes. By the month's end, a seed of respect had been sown replacing the fear they once inspired. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over the town, Jake, Max, and Lance approached Samuel's house. Nervous anticipation crackled in the air. They knocked, their knuckles rapping a tentative rhythm. The door creaked open, revealing Samuel's familiar calm demeanor. We finished what you asked, Max blurted, his voice laced with a newfound sincerity and we're truly sorry for what we did. We want to earn your respect, sir. Make things right. Samuel's gaze held them each in turn. Finally, a slow nod. I've seen your efforts, he rumbled. A good start on a long road. Remember, respect isn't a gift. It's earned one day at a time. With that, the three bikers turned, a newfound purpose propelling them forward. The lesson learned wasn't just about respect for the Iron Fist. It was about respect for themselves, their community, and the bonds that held it together. They left the legendary Iron Fist Johnson behind, his image etched deeper in their minds and the town's lore. The tale of Samuel's quiet strength, the power of redemption, and the enduring power of brotherhood became a beacon a testament to the potential for change that resides within us all. The narrative underscores the significance of honoring others, the journey towards redemption, and the collective strength of a community. The composed and honorable manner in which Samuel Johnson deals with provocation, along with his knack for rallying his devoted companions, serves as a testament to the fact that the essence of true might is found in one's character and ability to lead. The metamorphosis of the bikers illustrates the possibility of change when opportunities are presented and steered by consistent and just values. Samuel's demand for the bikers to rectify their wrongs conveys the message that responsibility and deeds are more eloquent than mere words. It serves as a caution against judging solely based on outward looks and affirms that dignity is due to every individual. Furthermore, the story accentuates the merit of granting individuals another opportunity and the prospects for self-improvement. In essence, this tale inspires us to conduct ourselves with moral uprightness, confront injustices, and make a constructive impact within our societies. How do you think respect and accountability can transform individuals and communities? Share your thoughts in the comments below.